The brand new Vanguard is a state-of-the-art armoured tactical SUV, and it's on the verge of deployment from the Action Force motor pool. In preparation for its imminent arrival, I want to go over all of the Vanguard's features and discuss why I'm so eager to add this to the Action Force arsenal. And why you should jump on the pre-order window before it closes at 23.59 hours Eastern Time this Sunday the 31st of March. Tick tock, mother So strap yourselves in, because it's time for action. Hello Action Force fans, Desert Rat here, and I want to give you my rundown on the team's new armoured vehicle, the Vanguard. At over 20 inches long, the Vanguard is a 1-12 to scale tactical vehicle, specially designed to fit all your Action Force troopers, and it is the first vehicle produced by Valiverse. Designer Bobby Valor was inspired to add this vehicle to the Action Force range, after seeing them in the action thriller television series, The Terminal List, which starred Chris Pratt as Navy SEAL Lieutenant Commander Reese. The real-world version of this vehicle seen in the show is the Resvani tank, and Valiverse have partnered with Resvani Motors to issue this cutting-edge military SUV to Action Force. With muscular proportions and a wide stance, the tank features ballistic protection and an armoured undercarriage, making it the perfect assault vehicle for Action Force. Each Vanguard also has the capability of rapidly deploying up to 10 Action Force troops. With four troops seated in the main cab, one in the turret, and one in the rear gunner's position. An additional four troops can also be deployed by riding on the side rails. And the capacity to move so many operators at one time makes the Vanguard the ideal vehicle for use by a quick reaction force. The front seats are adjustable to accommodate different sized drivers, and further rapid deployment of soldiers is also achieved by removing the doors. And if you need to get troops into the fight with haste, it's features like these that will give your squad the tactical advantage. A working front winch and a removable shovel are available to assist with vehicle recovery, while a couple of jerry cans give your squad the ability to carry extra fuel for long range missions. Some other features of the real world Resvani tank include a smoke screen that can be deployed to cover your squad's exfiltration, and the inclusion of gas masks to protect occupants from a chemical attack. While the Valiverse Vanguard does not come packed in with respirators, you can add this feature by picking up the tactical headgear pack that has five gas masks included. We've covered the defensive capabilities of the Vanguard, so now let's look at the offensive options. A removable top hatch allows for fitment of an armoured turret, which comes mounted with a pair of belt-fed machine guns, affording your squad a heavy rate of fire back capability. An M240 Bravo can also be mounted to the turret, or fitted inside the back cab, allowing the rear gunner to protect the vehicle from a pursuing enemy. I've been asking the Action Force head shed to issue us with an M240 Bravo or a Mag 58 ever since I was first recruited into the team. So now I'm going to have to get my hands on an extra Vanguard, just so I can use this weapon system when I want to pack more firepower than my M4. A machine gun turret is one thing, but when it comes time to really rain down the pain on the swarm, I recommend the missile launcher. When you're done f***ing around and it's time for the swarm to find out, Switch out the machine gun turret for the missile launcher that is armed with 12 individual high explosive missiles and the Vanguard comes equipped with three firing missile effects and one backblast effect. This missile launcher is the major reason that you should pre-order the Vanguard from Valiverse.com before the pre-orders close at 23.59 hours on Sunday the 31st of March because this awesome piece of high-tech artillery is only included with vehicles purchased during the pre-order window. This missile launcher will be made available at a later date, but if you wait for the summer release of the Vanguard, you'll have to purchase this weapon accessory separately. I understand that some of you might not like to pre-order items, and that you'd rather hang on to your cash until products are ready to ship. Yet it's important to remember that summer is only a few short months away, so you won't have to wait very long, and you'll be kicking yourselves later if you hold out, and then have to order the missile launcher separately. The Vanguard and all the additional weapons and equipment that we've shown here is available for only $184.99, and that also includes free shipping within the continental United States. And $185 is a staggeringly great price for this cutting edge vehicle. Being such an advanced piece of modern tactical equipment, the Vanguard needs specially trained drivers, codenamed Reapers. The Reapers give us our first look at Action Force's new Series 5 uniforms, and each driver is equipped with a visored helmet that reminds me of the headgear worn by Blackhawk pilots. Now let's talk about colour options. Of course the tan version is ideally suited for use by your Action Force Desert Troops, 
and this squad desperately needs a vehicle. Where special operations teams do sometimes patrol on foot, this is typically dictated by the environment, such as having to move through jungle terrain. Yet given the nature of deserts being wide open expanses, the primary method of insertion into such an area is by vehicle. The other colour of Vanguard issued to the Action Force is Stealth Grey, and if I was in command, these would be assigned to the Steel Brigade. Yet the Vanguard also looks truly menacing when taken over by Kerak and his garrison cavalry, or backing up Pandora when she goes on a bloodthirsty rampage. If I'm going into battle against the Swarm or the garrison cavalry, I want to be riding in a Vanguard, and let me explain why. When I operated as a US military contractor in Iraq, my team used up-armoured Toyota Land Cruisers to move around our area of operations, where the threat of attack from improvised explosive devices was ever-present. While these vehicles did save a lot of lives, they were not the best armoured vehicles we could have used at that time. So I reckon his rifle took most of the blast? Yeah. Looks up where I'm at. You see the piece of copper is fucking hell. Fast forward to the modern day and by far the best armoured SUVs available are designed and built by Resvani Motors. And if my team is at risk of being in a situation like this... Oh, shit. That was an ID. ...then I'd much rather be in a Vanguard than a Vamp. With phenomenal off-road capabilities, extensive ballistic protection and enough firepower to level a small town, the Vanguard is my first and only choice for conducting combat operations with the Action Force Desert Patrol. And it looks cool as hell, which is always a bonus. So don't forget, pre-orders for the Vanguard close at 1 minute to midnight on the 31st of March. And if you want your Action Force to cruise around in the most badass beast on the battlefield, then head over to the Valiverse.com website and place your order right now. Link to the website is in the video description below. I pre-ordered the Stealth Grey Vanguard back in January, and I've already had my shipping cost refunded. So now I'm about to jump on board with a Desert Tan Edition as well, because it looks way cooler than my other ride, and because my Desert Troops deserve to ride or die in style.